Introducing Whitney Wolf Heard, Hall of Fame legend, Patricia Will. Good evening, everyone. It may surprise my husband of 40 plus years to know that on a recent business trip away from him in Chicago, in preparation, of course, for tonight's event, <laughs> I signed on to Bumble. The online dating platform that Whitney Wolf Heard founded in 2014, just two years after graduating SMU. In early 21, at the height of the pandemic, she took Bumble public at a valuation, sit down folks, of 13 billion. And at 31, she became the youngest self-made female billionaire in the world. So why Bumble? In contrast to the cruel world of matchmaking online described by my friends and my sister in this room, I found Bumble to be kind, upbeat, and inclusive. Much more than a dating app, it's an instrument created by a woman to empower women. The analogy for a woman of my day would be this. You're able to sit at a bar, maybe scan the room, but you're protected by an invisible fence from getting hit on. Whitney Wolf Heard is much more than a genius entrepreneur. She's a wife and mom who, as you saw, brought her 18-month-old with her to ring the bell when public, when public on NASDAQ. In that moment, she was the youngest woman ever to take a company public. Her passion for empowering women is not just the catalyst for her entrepreneurship, but for her commitment to a myriad of initiatives that take on the status quo and are an inspiration especially to women and girls across the globe. Whitney, I was already past 60 at my induction four years ago, so I cannot describe how thrilled I am to introduce you, a woman half my age, into the pantheon of legends at the Texas Business Hall of Fame. Good evening, everybody, and thank you so much. That was such a beautiful introduction, and candidly, the most refreshing conversation I've had in a very long time. Earlier this evening, I shared that I was struggling with extreme mom guilt for being here tonight, and you so thoughtfully reassured me that no preschooler will ever remember this and that it will be okay. <laughs> so thank you so much. You are such an inspiration to me. Wow, I truly am at a loss for words. I don't know how to say what an honor this is. But I will say a couple quick things. Um, first of all, thank you so much for having me and for acknowledging Bumble. It's really truly not about me, it's about the team and the people around me. And most importantly, it's about the Texans that have had my back to make this possible. There is no Bumble and there is no public version of me without the Texans that have been behind me. First and foremost, my husband, Michael, the ultimate Texan. <laughs> he is literally Texas 
if there was a billboard when you got off the airplane in Texas, he is that. He is a rodeo roping, cattle owning, amazing, incredible human. But what's so impressive about him is he has been my biggest, biggest supporter and my biggest inspiration. Gaylord and Courtney, who were both in the video, thank you very much for the cameos, those were amazing. They're also Texans and they have been by my side from day one before Bumble even existed. And so much of our early workforce and so much of our early user base have been Texan loyalists. Like we are a Texas company and so many of our friends and family tonight. So thank you so much for having us. I also want to say to all of the business leaders and hopeful business leaders in the room, you do not have to fit in to stand out. You can be you and you can make it on your own terms, whatever that means. All I can leave this room with tonight is that two things really make the world go round. The first thing is being kind to each other and to borrow the words of someone else earlier this evening, your host of the night, be kind to yourself. And the second thing is the connections and relationships you have with others. So make sure you invest in those because that is truly what builds your businesses. I would not be standing on this stage or I would not even be a business leader if I had not really put my relationships at the forefront. I am obviously giving a bit of a nod to my business because I'm in the relationship industry, but that's all we've got here on planet Earth is the relationships we have with each other and with ourselves. So I am so, so honored to be here tonight and thank you so much. I feel like I've been talking for 200 hours, so I'm going to stop, but thank you for having me and enjoy.